Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a smoky eye makeup classic look. So I'm going to start off by prepping my eye with a medium base canvas eye base or a concealer or even a light shadow. And then next I'm going to take this palette by Morphe with a shade of Forever going on to the medium blue, medium brown shade and I'm just going to apply it on the upper lid of into the crease. Then moving towards the outward part of my eye blending it with the brush if you're having hard time blending the edges then you, you can dip your brush to a lighter shade using this shade it's called natural and what I'm gonna do is just blend those two colors in together making this more kind of like faded look just keep blending and make sure you're using a different brush with this color now i'm taking this all-nighter setting spray and just applying it towards my brush and taking this really dark brown shade and applying it at the middle of my lid working in towards at the side and going it in more on towards the tight line of your lid just make sure you blend those in those dark shadow really really well avoiding all the harsh lines Again, use a clean eyeshadow brush. As you can see, now I'm using an angled shader, shader brush to shade my crease with the dark shadow. And I'm just gonna blend those three colors together blending all the now i'm taking a clean cotton pad and i'm just gonna wipe all those extra harsh lines towards the outward of my eye and just keep a blending now i'm going back in with this lightest shade of brown we're gonna clean our outer edges of our eye with a concealer and just dab your beauty blender and blend it all well now using an eye pencil or gel line on a really deep color line the upper and lower lash line making sure the lines meet at the outer corner of the eye smudge and smoke the lines by layering a powdered shadow like so on top or simply smudge the liner with a cream shadow brush so with this I'm using this really small angle brush just tight lining all my um, eyelid like so blending it with this really dark eyeshadow that I used in my mid lid going back in with the natural shade again I'm just gonna clean out the edges with this lightest shade of beige so the key here is to blend 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 and to make sure everything is clean you could also apply concealer if you want it really really clean now we're gonna take this um, mascara what i like to do is use this small fan brush from Sigma Beauty and just apply the mascara towards my lower lid and I'm gonna curl my lashes curl my upper lashes and apply the mascara wand in three layers
Next stop is to apply your favorite lashes. My favorite lashes are lashes that are like mink type and strip lashes. Those really look good over it as smoky eye look. I like to apply my lashes while I look into the mirror, straight looking to the mirror and not closing my eyes to make sure it's even and it stays well. Going back in with the deepest darker brown shade, I'm just gonna outline my eyebrow. You could also use an eyebrow pencil, but what I like to do is just you know keep my eyebrow color looking like the same as the darkest shade of my smoky eye to make it a more dramatic but if you already have dark eyebrows then i suggest to just use a clear gel lastly i'm just gonna clean all my under eye and contour the bridge of my nose with Il Maquillage Concealers so just dab it with a beauty blender Now I'm contouring my face with this darker concealer shade. Make sure to blend everything out, make it really look even. You could also do this um, step before applying your eyeshadow, but what I prefer is doing it after. Next, I'm going to take my translucent powder and just apply it on my face. You could also bake your face, but I just wanted to bake it a little bit. And with this Jar Cosmetic um, Star Powder, I'm going to highlight my cheekbone. I like this powder because it highlights your cheekbone really subtle. It doesn't give really any harsh, strong line. So with a, a really classic smoky eye makeup look, you want to make your other part of your face just subtle looking so your eyes could really pop and it would balance your, the color on your face. With my lips, I'm using this Buxom Cosmetic Lip Liner in Undercover. It, it has this really brownish with kind of like red undertone. It is really nice if, you're, if you have a tan skin tone like I do. You can stick to more neutral lip liner base and i suggest this color it looks really really nice it looks super natural what i like to do is just like line all my lips and then i'm gonna top it off with a um, glossy colored lip gloss to make it pop like so so this is one of my techniques in using a lip gloss I apply my favorite lip liner underneath so if anything happens and I eat and my lip gloss are gone and at least I have this like dark base underneath my lip gloss and my lips would still look nice. This lip gloss from Jared Cosmetics is one of my favorite. It's called, it, the shade is called Skin. It gives us just like peachy brown color and it is not that sticky when you apply it so it feels really really comfortable and it's super lightweight and it gives this really nice shade of color of peach and brown now after you apply your lipstick um if you want to make it really even neat 
Then I suggest um, lining the edges of your lips with a um, concealer that matches your skin tone. I'm using the Naked Stay Naked Eyewear Band Decay in 40 and and now I'm gonna set all my makeup with a setting spray by Urban Decay and that's it. You're ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have fun watching my tutorial. If you have guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment it down below. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.